Hey guys, I'll be cooking my very first recipe for Mindful Chef. My name's Arthur, and this is my rolling vlog. So today I'll be cooking beef rice steak bowl with spicy Korean style sauce and hopefully it will turn out good. So to start with, it says that you have to make the this Korean sauce. It tells you to put in the balsamic vinegar which is here. The recipe I've got here is for two so I have to divide it in half. It says here you need two tablespoons which is 30 grams. But um, this packet here is 30 grams, so I need to put half of it in. I've got the scales here just to make sure put in 30 grams. The next thing we need to do is add in the honey. Now, the recipe here says that you've got to put in two teaspoons, but because obviously this is the recipe just for one, we put in one teaspoon. There's, that's one teaspoon of honey, put in. We've also got to put in the tomato puree. So it says here that you've got to put in two tablespoons of tomato puree, which is 30 grams, so it's basically one of these. So I will put in 15 grams of tomato puree, almost 15 at 13, it's 14, there we are, 15 grams. Now it says this is the sashimi in here, now it's telling you this quantity is half a teaspoon and obviously it's for two people again. And it tells you for less heat, you put in half of it. So for me, it would be an eighth of a teaspoon, but I don't mind the heat. So I'm going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon there. And the next thing it to add is the tamari sauce, which is basically gluten-free soy. Now it says it needs to be two tablespoons. Now two tablespoons is 30 grams, so half of that would be 15 grams. But they've only provided me with 10, so I need to top it up with my own tamari sauce. Which isn't really good, but it's just what's happened, so I just need to measure it. Exactly, well, it's just a little bit over 10. That's everything, so now we just need to stir to combine it. So the next thing we do is thinly slice the radishes. So just take the ends off. That's the ends off them. We just this this board holds my vegetables for me. One radish done.
that's the radish she's done. We'll put them to one side. They're not uniform, but don't mind about that. The next thing to do is the, the mini cucumber. Now, I only need half of this because the recipe just calls for one, and because I'm doing it for one person, we just need half a baby cucumber. I would say that was about half. And we'll just take the ends off this. But I need to julienne it, or use like a tool to, special tool to julienne it. Now, I couldn't find the tool it's asked for, so I'm just gonna use this kind of peeler. It's got like a serrated, I don't know if the camera's focusing on that, it's got like a serrated peel to it, so hopefully. Next thing to do is the spring onions. Now that the the cucumber's done, just top and tail it. And then Okay, that's the spring onion done. The next thing to do is to cook the steak. So I have gone ahead and uh, seasoned and oiled the steak. Now you should never oil the papu oil in the pan when you're cooking a steak. You should always oil the meat. And the meat needs to come to room temperature as well before you cook it. So I have seasoned it and oiled the steak. So it gets cooked on two minutes on each side. I'll be back with you once that's done. That's been two minutes, so just turn it over now. And cook it for another two minutes. I'm now going to reduce the temperature. That's been four minutes now. And I'm going to add the salt. Cut it a bit further. There we go. And you've got to cook it for a further two minutes. And that's been two minutes, so just take it off the heat. And just leave, just leave to rest. And now we need to do the rice. And to the rice, we add half this packet. So it's like for one person. Just, se just separate this up. And then to the rice, and then to the rice we add the vegetables. We add sweet corn. We add the vegetables that we prepared. We, are, we also add the sesame seeds. These are, they look like poppy seeds, but they're actually black sesame seeds. So we add one teaspoon. This, this packet's two teaspoons. So we'll just put half of it in. And stir that in there. So this is what it looked like in the recipe. And this is my interpretation. And it looks all right, doesn't it? It looks, doesn't look quite the same, but it looks similar and I'm happy for that. And I'll let you know what I think of it once I'm done. So it was quite tasty. It had a right nice tomatoey, soy sort of flavor to it. And it wasn't too spicy. It could have done with more of that shishami seasoning, but also, the other issue I had with it was that the meat was quite tough, even though it was medium rare. And that could have been, I didn't rest it long enough, but it was rested for about five or ten minutes, so I don't know why it was tough. But apart from that, the flavours were really tasty and worked well. The, it had a quite like an umami sort of flavour, and the rice was okay, but didn't have enough flavour to it. There wasn't enough... 
it could have that could have done with having a bit of soy in it as well or something just to lift it but apart from that it was okay for my first recipe and hopefully the others will be good too but for now it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure <laughs>